Hey everyone, so um, this is a kind of an oldie but goodie. Um, this is one I kind of missed out on when it came out in the last year or something like that. It's like kind of a lot of people's favorite figures. And during this holothon, I was kind of looking for Demona, but I was like, well, I've never tried a gargoyle figure or open them or, you know. So I was like, well, you know, I see this one at Walmart a lot. So I'll like pick one up, see what I think. Um, so the box is pretty big. Um, I'll open the window real quick. So you see Goliath in there, and you got um, all the stuff in there. I heard some issues about the wings, like they're kind of they don't fold or they're kind of thin. I don't know. Um, on the side you get a picture of the figure. On the back you get multiple pictures of the figure i'm still trying to figure out what this is i thought it was a pickle but it's like a pepper i don't know um so and then on the side you get another picture of the figure or go look on the top um it's just one show like i heard it was kind of ahead of its time um it was like a Saturday morning cartoon when I was getting older, um, getting out of it, I guess. And, um, you know, just maybe watch a couple episodes and I really had much interest, but I don't know, heard it's intriguing. So I don't know a whole lot about these characters or the lore or anything. I just thought, well, this looks like something kind of neat maybe to get into. So anyway, so I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. All right, so I uh, got him out of the package. Sorry, I'm just taking another look at this box. I don't know, I have the hardest time getting him to stand. And I noticed, like, one thing kind of helps is to take his legs and kind of bend them. So, like, kind of bend his knees back. And then this ankle pivot and this toe pivot, I guess you'd say, kind of lean it towards it. And seems to work. Um, I don't know. This kind of reminds me of like the lizard build a figure that uh, it just almost needs other stuff like a tail to put them together. So, um, I mean, detail wise, it's really well done. I mean, it's not just purple, it's like white, light purple, and darkness and stuff like that dark purple and stuff like that. Um, this cloth here is, um, it's like kind of rubbery, soft plastic or something like that. Um, that's well done. And it has open here for the tail. So, um, this is the tail. There's not a whole lot of detail to it. I don't know if it needs it, but, um, and it's, like it comes out straight, but like you can bend it and stuff. And honestly, it feels like it's got like, um, I don't know, like a skeleton in it or something. I don't know, like I feel like kind of pop. It doesn't feel like just like a wire in there or something like that. It's like a little bit more to it. So, um, so it looks like that just goes up as, goes up as butt basically. <laughs> And no way else to say it. Um, so it's like a cut almost all the way in there. There we go. Um, so once you get the tail in, it goes all the way out like that. It goes all the way down like that. So it's just got like a, a joint there. So I imagine we can do something like this and. Yeah, that helps balance them. So, I guess that tail does come in handy. Um, I do have an alternate head. So, I know this one's got like a little, little scrapes. Some like little white specks, stuff like that. Um, I was trying to look at, like I said, multiple ones. I was trying to pick out a really good one and they all looked about the same. So, um, two fisted hands. Ooh, sorry, who's fighting back? Um, yeah, just really good detail. Oops. 
And then I guess one open in hand, which I think is going to be for the book. And this is the book. And it's pretty hard. It don't bend or anything like that. And, um, can't really tell in the words or anything. So I imagine that would go in his, let's see, his right hand with this one. And then he should be able to hold the book. So, let's see. And I'm not sure. Well, I guess this will be the title. There's just nothing else really to it. So, there you go. Trying to think of like a way. Notice this one is kind of loose. Like what he would be doing. I don't know. It's kind of laying back around the book, I guess. Um, so there's that. And then there's this, which I think is like a green pepper. I don't know. So there's that. And then the wings. Um, the wings don't bend, so they just kind of go into his back, and then they're just out there, so, God, they've got like a really tight ratchet. Makes a lot of noise, you can hear it vibrate through the wings. So, and I've heard of issues too, like where these break in half, like where the ratchets are. Um... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And it looks like it just goes here in the back. It looks like I got some blue paint or something. That may have came from his hair though, because his hair's got some blue kind of around it. Um, let's see. Thing too, I noticed like his head doesn't have a lot of move like it moves but it doesn't like go up and down it's just his neck kind of comes out and it's just he's like looking forward um it just has some tilt but he don't like really look forward or back much so um <clears throat> it's like if i turn to the side i have to like really stretch it i mean this stuff kind of bends but it just looks a bit awkward um so, let's put one of these on. Let's see if I can remove this. I'm trying to do it without removing his head. And let's see. So there we go. God, it just feels really weird. Like it just sounds like really creaky or something. I don't know. But like, um, let's see. Probably put his tail like that and make it a little more normal. Um. I mean, as you can tell, the wings take up a lot of real estate. The one thing I do like about them, though, is it seems like they they don't wobble. So I notice a lot of figures, like when they have wings, it's like they they don't stay in place. Like you get them up here and they just fall down or something. But these seem to stay up. So that's pretty cool. Um, it takes up a lot of real estate. So kind of see the wingspan. So I mean, that's a lot. Um, kind of wish there was an option where his wings would fold in. Like I'm thinking like Archangel with uh, Marvel Legends. Um, let's see, I'll try this extra head real quick. 
on an Halloween starting to fall. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you get it in there nice and tight, it seems to stay in there a lot better. Because it looks like there's like kind of a divot here. And like whenever I pull it aside, it pokes out and I push it back in. That kind of keeps it in there. So you can see. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. But it's like right there, there's like a little groove that keeps the wing kind of in spot. Um, so that's probably how it works. Um, God, this ball joint is like really, really tight. Like I can't move it. I can kind of, but it's like I'm a bit afraid to. Um, so let's try with this head on. this one's a little loose um this one seemed okay but let me try the fisted hands just to see kind of how they look so i wonder if it's just Yeah, that's kind of loose too, so it might be something with the, the hole in here. I like it maybe a little too big or something. I mean, it goes in just fine, but, you know, that's what it is. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get like a, a good pose. The thing that gets me though is like his head's like constantly looking kind of forward so you sort of have to like maneuver his body to get it to because I'm like okay well I'll just move this back and it don't really go back like he's got a diaphragm thing here it just I don't know like when he's leaning back it just it's not quite right I don't know Oh, so I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, I'm kind of mixed on it. Like, as far as the detail and everything, I think they did a really good job. I mean, the wings, too. One of the photo mentions, like, there's a lot of detail in the wings. Like, they didn't skip on that. Um, like, one I remember in the cartoons, he was really muscular. They have all the muscles, veins, and all this stuff. I mean, even in the hands, it looks really good. Um... I think they did really good with the paint. Um, the black on the wings, the head, the body, just, you know, it's like different shades of purple. I thought that was really impressive. Um, I think what gets me, though, is they kind of didn't put a lot of detail in the, in the tail. Um, the wings have this just, I don't know, it, it just feels like they kind of phoned it in with the wings a little bit. Well, like if you're going to have them stand like this all the time, that's great, but, um, give me just a moment. I'm going to bring out an example of, like, what I thought would be really cool. So I have an Archangel from my Marvel Legends that was be a good example. back so Archangel he has like these wings that fold um, so you can fold them out and they can come up or you know if he's taking up a little too much space because his wings are nowhere near as big as him they can fold in so 
you know, just as an example, that's one thing I kind of do not like about this. Um, I don't know. Like, I know this is a little bit more expensive for naked figures, but they're kind of going up to the 30, mid 30 range, which is about what this is now still. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a seven. Like, it's just. There's stuff about it that just kind of sets me off. I mean, like, it's impressive. It's a really cool looking figure. It's just, you know, once you get it in your hands and stuff, I just feel a little disappointed. You know, I guess if I was a bigger fan of the gargoyles and stuff like that, I would understand. But, yeah, I'm just not quite feeling it. That's another thing, too. These little ratchet wings just bum me out, and he's really hard to stand without the tail um it's like a lizard build figure thing which i don't have anymore but basically the tail of that figure actually had a flat spot in it where it could sit because he had these um hinge feet too so um yeah i think it's a seven i mean it's it's a good figure you know i have nothing wrong with it it might just grow on me i don't know but yeah, this is one I kind of pass on, and then everybody was like, oh yeah, this is like one of the best figures of the year and stuff, and I was like, really? And, I don't know, maybe a digger on them too, I don't know, but, um, yeah, anyways, that's all I have to say, and um, thanks for watching.